So yeah, it's finally Hamilton Day. Hamilton! I've now put my makeup on and stuff. We'll come back to the apartment before the show, so I'm not dressed in like what I'm gonna wear, but we're gonna head out for the day. We're gonna go to the public library and Kinokuniya, which is all right around Bryant Park. We're gonna go back to this glasses store so I can get my glasses adjusted because they're bothering me a little bit. Then we'll probably eat dinner and then we'll be headed to the show, so I'm pretty excited. <laughs> I don't sleep when I'm excited, so like the past couple nights I haven't gotten a lot of sleep. Last night I slept pretty good, but I woke up at like 7 this morning and then the day before I woke up at 4 in the morning and never went back to sleep. So yeah, I'm a little bit excited. Some context as to why this is such a big deal for me. I grew up doing musical theater stuff with my mom and instead of birthday parties, I would come up to the city and go see Broadway shows. So I've seen Wicked like over six times, probably seven or eight times. Um, so I didn't just jump on the Hamilton bandwagon because it's like new and cool. I actually do love musical theater and I really love going to see Broadway shows. Um, and I never thought that I would get Hamilton tickets, but my grandmother is a wizard and has magical connections. <laughs> So my grandmother has a bunch of connections. She managed to get two tickets and she's had these tickets since August or September um, and she waited to give them to me till Christmas. So this was my Christmas present for my grandmother for me and my mom to go see Hamilton. My cousin Isabel who has been my best friend since I was like three years old, she knew that my grandmother <laughs> had the tickets and before she gave them to me she was like nanny emma's gonna cry <laughs> when my grandmother surprised me with the tickets i did i cried my eyes out so this is a big deal for me i'm super excited which explains why i've been like talking about it a lot yeah so like i said we're gonna go out and do some stuff because if we just sit around and wait for hamilton we'll probably lose our minds i'll film a little bit of what we do today so that you guys can see what a day looks like when you're going to hamilton that night <laughs> hamilton We went to the library, we went to Kinokuniya, and then we also stopped in a Barnes & Noble and an Adidas store because I was really missing my old Adidas. I'm going to show you all the manga that I got at Kinokuniya um, because I'm really excited about it. Kinokuniya is a magical place. I freak out about Books of Wonder all the time, but Kinokuniya is like Books of Wonder for manga. It's just huge and there's so many rows and rows and rows of manga like if you enjoy manga at all and you've never been you should try and make it there it's really fun it's really cool okay so the first thing i got is the first volume of natsume's book of friends i'm watching through the anime right now and i'm really really liking it so i figured i would get the manga especially because i really like the art style i think it's really pretty 
Then I got the first volume of Here Lie in April. All I really know about it is that it's about musical prodigies. It's a super popular one. Most of these, actually all of them except for Natsume, I got on my brother's recommendation. So then the next one I got is called A Silent Voice. Uh, what my brother said is it's a love story, I think, but it has something to do with bullying. And again, I like the art style. I think it's cute. So I got that one. And then in Kunyokuniya, they didn't have the first volume of Death Note. So then we went into a Barnes & Noble and they had the first volume. So I decided to pick it up because, yeah, I've just seen a lot about it recently and I'm curious about it. And also my brother recommended it. So that's what I got. I also picked up Everything Everything because last night we saw Beauty and the Beast and the trailer for Everything Everything, like the movie, played before it and it looked really good. And so because I want to see the movie, I have to read the book first. And I also just finished The Sun is Also Star and I really enjoyed it. And it's very rare that I really love a contemporary and I actually keep thinking about it after I'm done reading it. So I thought I would give her other books a try. So we will see. I forgot about this for a second, but I got another one of those like blind box things, but this one is for a card and I got Shirabu. I'm not sure how you say his name, but he's my favorite on the Shira Torizawa team. He's a setter. And when I got his card, I like freaked out. I gasped. My mom was like, what? What is it? Who is this? So I was really excited. I swear Bear Burger has the best French fries oh. in the whole wide world. Hey mom. Yeah. Where are we going? We're going to see Hamilton. <laughs> Hamilton! I have no rational thoughts for you guys at this moment. <laughs> We just got back from Hamilton. Hamilton! It was amazing, of course. It lived up to everything that I thought it was exactly how I pictured it, just from listening to the soundtrack like a million times. Um, but it was really cool to see it on the stage and have dancing and lighting and like be able to understand the whole story better. I am very tired and a little bit like emotionally overwhelmed, so I'll talk more about it tomorrow, but for the moment, I just wanted to say that it was amazing, it was beautiful, it was wonderful. The whole cast was so great, which I was worried about because the original cast is like so iconic and I know them all, like anticipating to be a little disappointed, but I wasn't at all. They were amazing. So I absolutely loved it. I loved it so much. It was fantastic. I feel like I could go see it again right now if it wasn't for the fact that I'm about to fall asleep. <laughs> I was going to talk about Hamilton on the car ride home. But I fell asleep, so I didn't film anything, but I figured I would talk about it now, a little bit about, like, the things that surprised me that I didn't expect going in. Like, I knew that the music would be amazing, and I knew that the story was amazing, the storytelling, but one of the things that surprised me the most was Aaron Burr is really the main character. Like, I kind of got that when I was listening through the soundtrack, but watching it, he definitely has the most time on stage. Watching the play made me love Aaron Burr the most. I liked Aaron Burr before because he's totally a Slytherin, so he's an interesting character. But I really liked him in the show, and the guy who played Aaron Burr was just amazing because he has to be good at everything. He has to be good at rapping and singing and, like, all the different things because his style changes from song to song. The cast was all different from the original cast, which I knew going in, of course, but they were all so good. I think there were only two characters who I like thought of the originals while I was watching them, and I thought it would be the guy who plays the king because originally Jonathan Groff played the king, and like I love Jonathan Groff. I'm a fan of his from Glee and stuff, so. I just thought, like, no one could live up to Jonathan Groff. But the guy who played the king, he played it completely different, and it was so 
funny. Like, I was dying in all of his songs. The guy who played Alexander Hamilton was incredible. He's been, like, involved in the show since the beginning, and he was the understudy originally, so he's, like, been there for a long time. So Aaron Burr and Alexander Hamilton and Angelica, for me, were, like, perfect. The only one that I actually kind of thought of the original was the guy who played Lafayette and Jefferson. Not that this guy wasn't good, because he was really good, and I liked his style, and he was a little different than the original, which was good. He wasn't just, like, a copycat. But a couple times, I, like, wanted to see the original guy doing his stuff. I noticed it a little bit. The only one that I actually was a little bit disappointed in was Eliza. I definitely liked the original Eliza way better. I just didn't like the way that this woman played her. She came across a little, like, weak to me and Eliza is such a strong character so Eliza is also my favorite and my favorite song going in before I saw the show was Burn so like I had very high expectations for that song I didn't even cry in Burn and like I almost cry every time I listen to Burn going in my favorite song was Burn but my favorite song live was Satisfied Satisfied was actually my first favorite when I first listened through the show but seeing it live was so cool because just the lighting and the stage, like the whole, the beginning of the song where it's like rewind, seeing that part play out on stage was really cool in the choreography. So that one was my favorite and all of Aaron Burr's songs like Wait For It, like Dear Theodosia and all of those songs were amazing. And of nonstop because it's like the one that plays before intermission and that one is always really hype. The stage, the middle part spins, I, I took a clip of that during intermission. So the way that that plays with the choreography is so cool because they'll like step on the spinning part and um, there's like a part in the middle and then another ring and then the outer stage that stays still. I loved the choreography. I thought it was really good. One thing that really surprised me is that it wasn't as emotional. Like I thought I was going to be bawling my eyes out because the first time I listened to it, I cried so hard. <laughs> and the second time too, I think. But I didn't cry like actual tears. Like there were no tears streaming down my face. I just kind of got choked up. I'm not sure why that was, why it was like less emotional in person, but it just kind of was. Afterwards, I still felt completely emotionally drained. <laughs> And then the other cool thing is that the audience, because the tickets are so hard to get and because everyone's listened to the soundtrack, the audience is so into it. They laugh really hard and cheer at their favorite parts and like everyone was having the time of their lives. So that was really fun. It's always fun to be in a theater full of people who are loving the show. Overall, it was just perfect. And uh, yeah, I have no complaints whatsoever. Like, you know when you're looking forward to something huge there's bound to be some disappointments. Mm -mm. It was perfect. I loved it. Even the things that I was like, that wasn't my favorite, like Eliza or whatever, it didn't change the experience at all. Overall, the whole experience was just wonderful. <laughs> I can't believe that I saw Hamilton. Hamilton! I don't know what you mean, you forget yourself Is that right? My name's Angelica Schuyler Where's your family from? What it feels like to match wits with someone at your level What the hell is the catch? It's the feeling of freedom Seeing the light Then break them with a key and a kite You see it right The conversation lasts for two minutes Maybe three minutes Everything is said in total agreement It's a dream and it's a bit of a dance It's a bit of a posture It's a bit of a stance He's a bit of a flirt But I'ma give it a chance Ask about his family Do you see his answer? His hands are defending You look askance He's penniless He's flying by the seat of his pants Handsome boy Does he know it? Peach fuzz I mean he can't even grow it I don't want to take him far away from this place Then I'm trying to see my sister's face and she is oh, 